Hi, I'm Brianna Thomas, and I'm here to talk to you about my experience in the MDS program. I have been going to Boise State here since 2009, off and on, um, and I am finally a senior and graduating this May, so I'm so excited to tell you um, all about my experience in the MDS program. First, I'm going to tell you how I ended up in the MDS program. So as I said, I started college back in 2009, and I then had have changed my major six times. Uh, the MDS is actually my seventh time. I started with nursing, exercise science, uh, respiratory therapy, uh, athletic training. There were just kinesiology. There was just so many different majors that I just did not know what I wanted to do with my life. Um, so I went to school off and on from 2009 to 2016. Then in 2016, I took a two-year break until 2018. Um, I then in 2017 started a new job, and in order for me to move up in that job, I would have a better chance if I got a degree. So after doing some research, choosing some different uh, degree paths, I found the MDS program which I uh, thought was very interesting and I went in to talk to the advisors and they were so motivational and excited to help me and I knew just from right then that it would be a good fit. Um, so after that point I started the process of applying, reapplying to Boise State, applying to the MDS program, getting all my credits and stuff all sorted out and choosing the classes that I wanted to take. When Looking into the classes that I wanted to take, I was offered just a ton of classes uh, and different routes to go. I could do the leadership, I could do ethnography, uh, then there was also the business, which I've always been interested in business, while my current employment is a leadership position and the leadership certificate would have been a good thing for me. I um, also thought that the business side of things would be be equally uh, as good for me. So that is where I decided to go. So I uh, will now have almost completed the Business Bridge to Career Certificate along with the um, MDS uh, program as well, which I'm so excited about. Um, next, I am going to talk to you about what the MDS outcomes are. Uh, there are six of them, problem solving, multicultural, perspective, writing, speaking, teamwork, and ethics. Um, so just a few things that we did to um, kind of learn these skills uh, through the MDS program are... So first, problem solving. Um, problem solving is designing, evaluating, and implementing a strategy to achieve a common goal. Uh, problem solving skills for me have always been a thing that I've loved and enjoyed. I love getting a problem, uh, being able to kind of see what routes I want to take or that we're able to take, and then to uh, choose the best one, um, and it may not always be the first choice, Choice, which I think is so interesting about problem solving. So I really enjoyed this um, avenue in the MDS program. For the problem solving section in this class, um, we did goal setting. Um, if you set a goal, then you're, you're setting a goal to solve a problem. So um, or something that you don't like. So that's a big deal um, in the world, just in any employment, you're always going to need skills for problem solving. Um, the next MDS outcome is the multicultural perspective outcome. Um, this is the knowledge of cultural differences, uh, which we discussed as a class in a discussion board. Um, discussion boards are interesting like that. I think it's a good tool for us to be able to see what other students are, um, what their opinions are, what their takes on the readings and the lectures and things. Um, so that's kind of how we did things as far as multicultural perspective. The next thing is writing. For writing, um, we, through this MDS program, just wanted to be able to effectively write um, so that the uh, employers and coworkers or uh, anyone who we come across are able to um, understand what we're writing and comprehend it. Uh, for this, we did um, kind of a future plans uh, assignment. So we just talked about our future plans and where we were going to go as far as the goals that we set and things like that. So we had to be able to effectively communicate that through a Word document without speaking to the person. So that is that um, outcome and how we 
were able to practice that skill. The next one is the skill of speaking. Um, and the speaking is just effectively communicating through words with your coworkers or your family, with whoever you interact with. Um, so we've done videos just like this one. We did an MDS 300. There was an elevator pitch we had to do. Um, another thing that we did to promote speaking is an interview assignment where we had to um, first ask questions and then receive and then give answers um, to practice our interview techniques, which helps us when we're applying for jobs, just in our daily lives, talking to our um, employees or our coworkers. Um, so that is a, a very important part of the MDS program. The next thing is teamwork. I actually use teamwork the most throughout the whole program, both MDS and the Business Bridge to Career um, classes. There were multiple assignments that we had to do that were in teams. Um, it was really interesting because we are all specific, all online. So we had to figure out how to work as a team while not being with each other, not being able to bounce, you know, verbal ideas off of each other. We had to use email, um, social media. We had to use um, like group chats and things like that just to make sure that we were communicating and get the pro getting the project done. Um, teamwork is just supporting each other, um, whoever's in your team, supporting them to get them to the end goal, which is, I mean, for us, graduation. Um, the last thing that we talked about was ethics, just the right and the wrong of the decisions. This is another one that we did a discussion board for, which was also um, very helpful just to get our peers um, opinions and things like that. Uh, so those are the MDS outcomes. Now we're going to talk about what I learned. I learned a lot about problem solving uh, with my service learning project, which we will talk about here in just a second. There was teamwork. Um, I had to learn that you have to be on top of your communication when you're doing group projects for classes like this. And when I get into a work environment well, where we might not all be together in one room, it's going to be important for me to be able to effectively communicate with my speaking skills, writing skills, teamwork skills, um, to make sure that we uh, complete the task or the goal at hand. Uh, teamwork is so important regardless of where you go. Uh, you have to know how to work with other people. Um, speaking skills, just the interview skills uh, that we did, that assignment that I talked about, um, it helped a lot because I personally am not the best at interviewing. Um, so just to kind of get a feel for, for what good skills are, what bad skills are, and then to be able to uh, do an interview and have it recorded and then I was able to watch it back uh, to kind of see where I needed to improve uh, and things like that. Uh, the next thing is the IDP, which we did for the MDS um, 300 class uh, that it applies here. So for my business bridge to career, uh, the 301 and 302, we really focused on a lot of writing and a lot of teamwork. Um, 310 and 320 were problem solving and teamwork. There was just so much teamwork. All of these classes, we were practicing our writing skills constantly. Um, I ha had changed my major so many times, so I had kind of a unique situation where I was able to pick other uh, upper level classes and uh, include them in my um, MDS degree. So my health history 314 is healthcare, law, and ethics. I was able to learn a lot about ethics in the healthcare world, which is where I want to go, um, improve and move up in. Um, respiratory care 355 was professional communication. So I had to use a lot of writing and speaking skills to um, get through that class and be able to um, use that stuff in my future career. Um, Restorate Care 440 was another communications class. It was just communication, teamwork, all of these um, MDS program outcomes are so important to the MDS degree. Uh, Restorate Care 441 was my problem solving skills. In this specific class, we had to, we were given uh, patients and we had to study them and kind of decide the best route of treatment that we would have, uh, that we would do for them. The last, or one of the things, uh, my MDS goals, uh, which I have accomplished all of them, um, I was able to talk to my mentors about healthcare. I took the Business Bridge to Career 301, uh, which I learned the basics of the business language. Um, I was in um, this semester uh, at, in Business 310, I was able to 
again, talk with the clinic administrators, work on my leadership skills, um, learn some team building things, conflict management, and then um, I actually just wrote a paper in that class uh, about motivation. So those are kind of my goals and in, in the ways that I had a, have achieved them. Uh, my service learning project, this was a tough one. Um, I had a tough time trying to find a place to do the service learning project. I am very passionate about mental health and I was wanting to do something in that, um, but it did not work out. So I ended up doing the service learning project through my church. Um, I worked with girls ages 11 to 18 to help promote their leadership skills. What we did was we put together a fundraiser um, so that they could earn money to go to girls camp. We This year, um, in the past, it's been the leaders and the um, parents that have helped a lot um, to get this uh, fundraiser going and to get the girls camp going and um, I have all of that done. Um, this year we put the responsibility on the girls. We talked, I talked with the other, um, volunteers that were there and we decided that they would cook the food. Um, so we sent 25 potatoes home with each girl to cook. Um, and then we wanted them to, to show their leadership skills. So they did a lot with the program. Um, they helped with the auction. They helped, um, price food out. They made phone calls. They made sure we had everything um, in check for that night. Um, I was there to be a mentor to the girls to teach them how important leadership skills are in their daily lives, no matter what they do. Um, leadership skills are always good to have. Um, so with that, we were successful. The potatoes all turned out. Um, the girls learned a lot. They learned responsibility for themselves. They learned that they might have to help other people. They worked as a team. We all worked as a team really well. Um, we got it all decorated. We um, did the fundraiser. We earned enough money to be able to send them all to camp. And they learned some valuable lessons um, as far as leadership problem solving skills. There were multiple problems that we ran into with the dates, um, with uh, cooking the food, the logistics of all of that. So they really learned a lot and I was there uh, to be a mentor and to, um, I have a, a, uh, a ability, or I usually jump in and uh, take over. Um, I like to have control, so it was a uh, learning for me that as a team, you have to work together. You might have to step back um, and kind of listen to everyone else's ideas, and then you can uh, formulate your own ideas and um, and then come together as a team um, in that way. So that was very interesting. Um, another important thing that we taught them, that and um, it's important to me, and it's important to why I came back to school for the MDS uh, program and degree is because I had to discover the why and they had to discover the why. They had to s discover why they are putting this event on, why it's important to equip yourself with leadership qualities. For me, why is it important for me to get a degree? Because I wanted to move up in in my career and um, this helps me in my future career because I do have to have those leadership skills and I feel like discovering the why is a huge important um, skill to teach those that you're over uh, so that they know why they're doing the tasks so that they're more motivated to do those tasks. Um, what I learned, I learned so much in this uh, class, in this degree program, in the service learning project. Um, I learned that teamwork is important. Communication is huge. Um, problem solving is also a very huge part of the work life. And if I want to move up in, which I do, in the uh, medical field, I have to be able to problem solve. I have to be able to communicate effectively and I have to have teamwork. I have to be able to work with a team. Um, I have to be able to lead a team and I have to be able to speak effectively, which is something that I, all of these things I was lacking uh, before this class. And I feel like we've just touched it. I'm excited to further educate myself, um, whether it be through Boise State or other classes, um, just to keep building on these fundamental um, values of this class. I am so grateful that I had the opportunity to take this class and I've learned so much and uh, I think that it benefits anyone that I come in contact with, not just myself, the skills that I have learned in this class. So um, thank you.